there guys welcome to or welcome back to exposed and if i'm welcoming you back and you like it here i'd love it if you stayed and subbed just a quick word about the uh swearing warning that's not for any of you that have been here for as long as you have we all know what everybody thinks at the point at this point what it's for is i've had a lot of people that stumble upon uh, upon my channel and then they comment about the swearing. It does say it in my channel banner, but they obviously don't see that. So, ah, do you know, I'm um, putting a warning at the start of the video so they can't come in and go, I stumbled across your thing and you're swearing. Yeah, well, you know now, so find something else to complain about. Um, this was a live. I was offered the job and I accepted um, if you haven't noticed, see, I don't know what will be going on by the time this one goes up. But today, last night, Lardy uh, opened her channel again. And then before I went to bed last night, she'd taken all her old videos off. So I'm assuming she wants to come back with a fresh start. And she's already sent her minions over telling me to leave her alone. Is she not big enough that she can't come across and talk to me herself and apologise? So, and then what made me laugh, right? The person who made the comment said, oh, I like some of the stuff you do about Lisa. Uh, maybe you should find somebody else. So it's okay to do Lisa and somebody else, but not Lardy. And then she says, I like you, Jules, in one breath. And then in the next breath, she says, you need to sort yourself out and find, uh, do something about your stay in bed condition. And it's like, so you like me, you don't like me. You want me to do Lisa but not Lardy. You asked me to stop and then you posted on another comment and said you'd reported me before I'd had a chance to read anything or do anything. So the answer's no. Shall we jump in? Put in a million. No. Uh... You're messing with the calculator and put a million on it for what? Hi everyone. It's Lori. Duh. How, hi Laura. So are you making fun of Lisa saying, hey, everyone, it's Lisa? <laughs> Passive aggressive much? <clears throat> Hi, Angela. Hi, Alfie. Hi, Andrea. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Hi, Skmace. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Susan Boise. Um, you know I'm gonna like start talking and storm dancer since uh, Cecilia, you know, I'm gonna start talking and people are gonna be coming in saying did you get a job? Oh my god. Hi Flo. Hi James. Yeah, James. You like the nail? Kathy. Yes. Thank goodness. Peggy Sue. Lydia. Hi Vince. I'm gonna talk to you guys privately. Ava. Jessa. I have a new faux little doodad in my hair. Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, mm, 7363. Thank you, Flo. Come get on with it now. Raya. So, okay. Um, I'm a little bit... like not shocked but it hasn't quite sunken in and as it's sinking in that i got offered a job and i accepted it um i'm getting more and more happy so remember the last live that i was on remember i got a phone call and it was the job that i ended up getting and somebody on here had said wouldn't it be amazing if she got that job and i did so you guys saw the phone call that I got asking me to come in for an interview. Right. So I went in for the interview. So it was them 
And you said if the chance happened, you could take on any role because you've got so much experience and you could go higher than that and blah, 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 blah. And then it ended up that you couldn't even do the basic job. Interview yesterday. Um, and, okay, so it's, I mean, there's some cons to the job, but of course I'm gonna only look at the pros because there's cons to everything. So the biggest con is that the, it's a lot of hours. It's 45 hours a week. So there's mandatory overtime, an hour, but I get paid time and a half for that hour. Then I remember you complaining like hell about the mandatory overtime. Blah, 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 blah. You knew what you were going into before. See, it's all laid out. See, this is the fun of going back. You can see what she says, and then you can see how it ended up. So the hours were going to be 7 to 5, and I was like, oh, my God, how am I going to get up at 7? They were like, well, you could do 8 to 6, and I'd rather do 8 to 6. But it's a flex. It's flexible. So it's a small office. It's a um, collision company, uh, you know, like automotive repair company for accidents. So it's not a corporate atmosphere, but it's not like, um, you know. So three minutes, 43 seconds into your I got a job video, you're telling everybody that it's a collision place. You'd already said before that it was near home. You doxed where you live. So all people have to do is call up a map, Google Maps, and look in a five mile radius, because you said that's how far you drive or something, whatever it was, and find a collision company. And presto bingo, there you are. But it didn't even happen that they needed to do that, did it? No, because Burke outed you or you outed yourself in this video, apparently. I don't remember hearing it, but everybody said it happened. So that's why I'm going to pay very close attention this time. You no, know, like a little... Um automotive repair place where you know they have the desk and you stand behind the desk like that and you hear <laughs> just scared gucci it's it feels more like if you go into a triple a that type of atmosphere but it's small so you walk in and it's very very nice and they have coffee it feels more like a car dealership except you don't see any cars from when where I'd be sitting. All of the auto repair is done in back. And I am the office um, administrator. <laughs> yeah, the, it's, well, the, okay, I'll tell you in a second flow. So it's not casual, you have to wear a uniform. And that was one of the other cons. But the uniform is I can wear any, bla like nice black pants. I could even wear like a nice yoga pant or a capri and then you have isn't it more what's the word i'm looking for grammar has just departed the building isn't it easier if you have a uniform to wear so then you don't have to bother wondering about what am i going to wear every day you don't have to be doing two ton of laundry do you know what i mean I worked at the Waldorf Hotel and we had a uniform and it was so easy just to put the uniform on every day and then it felt nice going out at weekends or whatever, you could wear what you wanted. Um, they have company shirts, different kinds. So there's a button down sweater and they have the name and then they come in all different colors, pink, purple, blue, red, green. I can get like... A See, this is the thing. She says, people look for where I am, la da 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 da. You're giving them all the information they need. Why can't you just say, I got a job. I'm really happy. It's not too far to drive. The hour is a bit long. It'll take a while to get used to, but I've, I've got a job. Hurrah. No, give all the details. A woman's shirt that has like a few buttons. I can get a polo shirt and I can get the V-neck sweater. So it's just black pants, and I have to wear this 
uniform. And so that kind of bummed me out at first because I was like, Oh, I have all these nice clothes, but <laughs> honestly, I really don't have... Exactly, you don't have... Nice clothes. I have a few nice things. Thank you, Allison. I have a few nice things, and you know how it is if you get up early in the morning and you have to think about what to wear, and your white shirt has, like, some a stain or, you know, I don't know, I wear black anyways, so, big fucking deal, right? Like, I don't have it, it, it. I don't have to think about what to wear. I just put on one of the shirts that they give me, and I and it, the sweater is a really nice V-neck button-down black sweater with the logo. And I could wear like a white tank under it. I could wear a black tank dress, and then wear the sweater over it. And I can do my hair, I can do my nails, I can do my makeup, my eyes, but it's a casual office so that, let's say, I did want to wear my hair like this and I do want my nose piercing. It's not stuffy, it's not corporate. And, okay, so here are the good things. Thing is though, Lardy, if you desperately want a job and they say you can't wear your nose ring and we'd rather you didn't have hair pieces in, would that really make it so you'd say you don't want the job? Pathetic. What does it matter what you look like when you're doing your job? No way, she, no way she'd wear scrubs, is there? Thank God. Um, it's six miles down the road. So right, so it's six miles down the road from where you doxed yourself and it's a, a car repair thing where you have to wear a uniform with a logo on your top. How difficult would that be for someone to find that lives in America? So, you know, if I was, so when I was looking at things that were, thank you. When I was looking at things that were far away, it, it would be an hour to get home. That's true, KK. And I wasn't thinking about that part daily, I was like, driving hi Denise thank you oh yeah I'm waiting for you to write me about Sensi um so it's six miles down the road so that's convenient like I could literally come home for lunch thank you I will be answering phones but it's it's an office administrator job. So there are other people like that would answer the phone if I'm not there. Thank you, Lori. Um, but I'll be doing accounts receivable, accounts payable, the payroll for the employees at that particular shop. Um, a lot of coordinating, it is, a, it is a big job, but the phones aren't crazy. And the people that, that also I'll be Remember all this. Do you know what would be interesting? Would be to watch this first and then watch the I lost my job video and listen to what she says about the place after what she said about it here. It's comical. It really is. Dealing with the people that have been in, you know, obviously in an accident and they come in and they were saying, and it is in a, you know, a nice upscale area. So the people that come and it's, it's, uh, it's, um, one of the providers for like State Farm and Triple A and all the top insur uh, automobile insurance companies. So it's on that list. It's a big corporation. They have 600 um, shops all over the country. Um, Just keep giving away all the info. This shop has about 15 employees and um, it's it's like it's nice like there's a flat screen tv in the waiting room <laughs> that she does life insurance i don't think she does car insurance but maybe um and they have like a popcorn machine so that if you're waiting for your car you can get popcorn and they have coffee the keurig the coffee the desk is nice and big and the chair is comfortable and two monitors and they don't have a sensi they have like a like like a it looked like a candle so we're gonna get them hooked up with that of course um 
and then the manager is really nice. Oh, thank you, Judy. Yeah, I'm gonna sensify it. Um, there's only one other girl that works there. She's younger than me, but that's okay. I get along well with young people, but I'll be dealing with like customers. So, you know, they'll call on the phone. I'll make a, a schedule for them. I'm not one of the service people that gives them estimates and things like that. But you know, when they, if they have to pay at the end after their repairs are done, I'll do the credit card machine and all that, but there's a lot, it's a busy job and I wanna be busy. Like my biggest concern is that I'm gonna sit there from eight to six with nothing to do and at that point just wish, thank you. I want to be busy. Hey, Lee, Nut. Um, just wish I was home. Like that kind of happened at that event that I worked at temporarily. You know, I was at the Monarch and thank you, Joe. And um, they hired so many people for that event. And we just sat and I, I was getting $14 an hour. That you moaned about. Twiddling my thumbs. And I would rather have been home, like, but I, you know, so the next day I was supposed to be in from eight to 12. And I, and I w woke up at three in the morning. Mm. I will be able to juggle Sensi. Um, in fact, I think it'll be better because this job pays my bills and everything else will be fluff. They offer amazing benefits, but they offer, but it, they don't pay for them. So Oh, thank you, Julie Tooley. Um, so like when me? I had said on the phone, I said, you know, are there benefits? And she's like, yes, we have great benefits, but the company doesn't pay anything towards the benefits. And I don't know how many companies do anymore. I mean, look, I'm not gonna get everything I want. I'm not gonna get 11 miles from home. I mean, six miles from home. It took me 11 minutes to get there. Six miles from home, I'm not gonna make the hourly wage that I want plus um, be able to dress however I want plus get full benefits, right? Like that's just not, you know, working. Why is dressing however you want a deal breaker with a job? I don't understand. That makes no sense to me. Nine to five. It's just not going to happen. And what even substantiated that for me is, you know, as I'm I got the job offer this morning and they had they offered it to me with a, it's an hourly job so it's not salary so I get overtime um time and a half actually so they offered it to me at a certain rate and I went in and I asked him if I could come in and take a look around and talk to the people and he said yes and then I negotiated a different rate and they accepted that so um it's, you know, it's not as much as I would like to make. It's not as much as the job that I went that was in Newport Beach that I was like, I wanted it so bad. I wanted it so bad. It would be perfectly gorgeous office. This was gorgeous offices. I would have been a receptionist working for a consulting firm making two, two and a half dollars more than what I'm making at this job. And I would have been working 40 hours but I wasn't taking into the, but take into the consideration that that was a 30 minute or more drive. Thank you, Wandering Ivy. Um, and, you know, like the things that they offered, like Bagel Tuesdays, it all sounds really good. But the fact is, I don't want to eat bagels, like, you know? And oh, you were pretty excited about e eating bagels after the interview. I seem to remember that's all you talked about. I had what was it, overflowing, never stopping, flowing coffee, and this, that, and the other. 
that's the thing see she looks at the job like a 16 year old coming out of school in the uk getting their first job she doesn't look at the fact oh there's a uniform that's handy right so i know what i'm wearing every day oh it's only six minutes from home great i can cope with that oh blah 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 it's like oh do they have bagels and coffee <laughs> yeah. i beg your pardon <laughs> We find the pause button. That was tech guy. <laughs> Casual Fridays, like I start October first. Oh, that's cool at a vape shop. I'm glowing. I'm starting to like it. Like when I got offered, I told Burke, and of course he shit all over it. Like just took a major dump. Because he also was like, how much is it? And I said, I'm not telling you. Like, I'm the mother. I'm not telling you how much I make. But because he wants me to he wants me to work in like a, a high office building doing being like some big thing. And honestly, I've done that. I don't want to do that anymore. I when did you do that really properly? When? I can't believe that a big high up office ever employed someone that couldn't spell articulate or fucking do maths i want like a fulfilling job there's lots of room for growth the manager there sees me promoting to uh, the office manager to, the manager there sees me promoting thank you Maisie daisy to be an office manager um with a yeah that didn't work out did it you couldn't do the basic job all that bluff and bluster and you couldn't do the job. A little higher pay, like, soon. Um, because the role is basically managing the whole office, like supplies and all of that. I am the face of the company. Um, and they do, they have, like, trips that you can win if you get these coins like they just give little incentives the company as a whole so the the health benefits they have they have offer a group rate for either you can pick kaiser permanente or you can pick blue cross blue shield they have medical so medical dental no i wouldn't re have to relocate I pardon me I don't understand how she's saying they have medical blah 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 but they don't pay for it well then they haven't got it have they if you've got to pay for it I don't understand the American system at all it confuses me I would just get a title change and a salary bump and have that title thank you Flo um got Megan Trainor in my head now so medical dental but but I ha I'm gonna have to pay for it but like the girl was telling me I think she pays seven dollars a week for full dental and then she has Kaiser and it's maybe twenty dollars a week and then there's a deductible but uh, so you know I don't know I, I I honestly I don't know I can't you I can't I won't be able to get everything so I really like Kaiser though, honestly, because um, I've I've had Kaiser before. I like one-stop shopping, but Blue Cross, I do have that as a supplemental right now, a supplemental insurance, and maybe that would enable me to go to my same. Yeah, so you have to know um, my same doctor. I like one-stop, you know, and and there is a Kaiser right down the road. Um, so, so Burke was like, nope, don't take it. You're going to be sorry. You're going to, you, you're going to want to. I wonder when she left, did he say, I told you so. Kill yourself after one week of working. Those are just crazy hours. I mean, it's long hours, eight to six. And I feel bad for the animals. But, you know, I got to do what I got to do. And. Okay, Obe's daughter.
I don't, I think so. What my medical. There was a doggy daycare near where she worked, but of course she wasn't going to pay to put hers in doggy daycare, was she? I love the sound of doggy daycare. It's like occasionally when I watch Michelle bang, wang, and she goes on about Butters, the dog, and Butters is going to school. <laughs> what was it she was saying the other day? Um, that she just tolerates the other dogs and she likes lap time and playing ball-y. <laughs> it's so cute. But like here, people don't think about doing something with their dogs when they're at work. They, just, they take them out before they go to work and then they take them out when they get home. Maybe we're missing that. Maybe I should start a doggy daycare. Maybe that's how I'll get my en suite. Yeah, the US is different. I mean, it's different. That's so true, Sherry. People, I've asked like James and I asked my physical therapist, Michelle, how many hours do you work? And she was like 60. After you, okay, so the, the, the benefits start on day one. You start accruing vacation on day one. So after the first year, you have like. Let's pause in early. Where are we? 18.05. See, she spends all her time making the job even more in her head. And then when it isn't that, she can't cope. And she said, oh, I, I could get um, promoted and I'd be able to do this, that and the other. But you can't do the basic job that you were employed to do. Have reasonable expectations for yourself. Stop thinking that you're something that you're not. Honestly, I think so. Because I'm not working. I just feel like the weather and everything and the lifestyle here... Okay, Obe's daughter. Just crazy hours. I mean, I think so. So well, hard to get to where you want to be. But whatever. Honestly, I don't even really like. I I feel like I'm on vacation, and not because I'm not working. I just feel like the weather and everything and the lifestyle here is vacation so i'm not even concerned about that like i don't want to go on a cruise anytime soon i don't want to travel anywhere and another great thing you get paid every week that's amazing like who does that paid every week and so it's mostly men love that of course you do and customers love that it's just not in an office building it's you know that's how i feel denise that i am living on vacation thank you honeybee helen so Warm woman work is like no nope, don't take it but then today before i actually accepted it and negotiated the higher set the higher pay you know, I got several emails from applications I sent out saying, that's true, scrap, yes, not a lot of women, saying, you know, thank you for your interest in our company and sending your resume, but we've moved on to the next thing. Uh, oh, oh, I missed that one about a few miles from home, but I really do think that that is important. So let's say you're making more money but but the commute is horrendous that's the reality hi melissa yes i will make it my own you know that's the reality of driving exactly says sinsta so like that hour of I, i'll be making time and a half for that there's no such thing as a perfect job either, right, Sherry? Gas, wear and tear on the car, sitting in traffic. And gas, I mean, gas here is almost $4 a gallon, you know? Um, and 
what another thing that I really liked was I didn't have to go through all the bullshit. There wasn't any, it was like I sent my resume, they called, I interviewed with two people at the same time. The very next day I got offered the job. There was none of this, take this assessment test that they send. These companies have this same. Maybe they should have had you take an assessment test and then and they might realize that you weren't capable of doing the job. Would have, have the, use the would have saved a lot of people a lot of heartache in the end, wouldn't it really? Same assessment test to the point that I know all of the answers without even reading them again. Like, which conference room would you put Jack and Mary in? And there were, you know, right, I'm deciding. Yes, I could go home for lunch. Yes. Um, and then I'm still going to do Sensi. I know. I mean, it is a big company, so they are, you know, there is somewhat of a, you know, a standard that you have to go by, but, but, you know, I've worked in a big office and I've been a, you know, a little person among, I get off Saturdays and Sundays. So Monday through Friday, eight to six. I mean, but everyone I've spoken to, like, who really, you know, I don't have a husband to come home to. And I raised my child and was home for him for his whole life. Where's the problem? It's just been a long time since I've had to be somewhere at 8 in the morning. And so I'm just nervous. It's just a big change for me right now. I know my, yeah. But, and Burke, even if he comes home, he's not gonna. But you know what I did when I left today? I will get used to it. And I said to the guy, you know, it's gonna take me a little while to get used to it. I'll, I'll answer that in a second, CJ. And he's like, you know, if you said to me, John, I'd rather work, you know, come in at seven, leave at five, or I want to take a half an hour for lunch and leave at this time. Like, I think he's flexible and it's not like I'm standing. I will be sitting and standing. It's not just sitting. It's like standing as well. And I'm just running the whole office area you know um an hour for lunch the mall is nearby um but you know they have like a room that you can sit and eat or you can like the girl was telling me she just goes and sits in her car which i don't understand why you would do that but it's in an industrial kind of area she said the day goes by quickly so that she can have an hour to herself and maybe read something or listen to a podcast or put the chair back and have a nap, whatever. You do it, you eat in your car. Why do you think it's so weird she wants to spend her lunch hour in her car? Because she's, see, I spoke to her because she had the position. I think so too, Stay Gold. They provide the shirts, five of them. So I can mix and match. I could get a black sweater and then a pink shirt or a green shirt. I'm just going to get all black. Well, I won't get all black, but I'm going to get a lot of the sweaters. I like that idea of the sweater. Um, a jumper in the heat. They weren't Sounds concerned like about fun. tattoos. Four 10-hour shifts. No, it's... It's eight six Monday through Friday with an hour for lunch paid I believe I, I yeah it's 45 hours a week I think you get paid for lunch mm. eight hours yeah huh? yeah But now I don't know that you're saying it. Now I don't know. It's eight hours. 
plus an hour. Nine hours, wait. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, 10 hours and an hour for lunch, so it's a nine hour day. Right, nine hours, you don't get paid for lunch. Yeah. See, I'm used to being a salaried employee. So, you know, Wang. making like, I don't know, $35,000 a year flat. That was it. Whether you work from home that day, you know. But in that respect, they get more out of you because you end up working overtime and you don't get paid for it. Where And everybody at this place gets paid hourly except for the the manager but everybody else the i don't know what all the titles are called there there's me and which is an office administrator then there's the service people um Hi, Julie, Julie. And I said to him, can I have coffee at the desk? And he was like, yeah. Because I've worked for or interviewed at places back in the day in Boston, corporate, that they wouldn't let you have coffee at your desk. Like, oh my God, I would die. I used to work reception for the British Computer Society. We weren't allowed anything at the desk. You couldn't get a drink or anything until you were on your lunch break. That's part of working. You don't want people walking into a fancy office seeing the receptionist sat there gulping tea, do you? And so this is like, I could probably eat like a little bit, like munchies at my desk. See, she's no already planning it. She got, You get a lunch hour, for fuck's sake. Wait for your lunch hour. <sighs> no one's going to look. Mm-hmm. Well, I think, I mean, you have to get an hour for lunch here when you're working. Like, what's half an hour is not enough to do anything. You'd have to stay where you are, but an hour. So it's going to be a huge adjustment, just even waking up early. But then maybe I'll go to bed at a normal time. You know, there's something to be said for, like, being on your own and being, that's so true, Sherry. Like, this came just in time, starts October 1st, because I have been scrambling, right? Maybe tough at first. I will get adjusted. Weekly paycheck. And I, I'll feel like I have, like, a full life. And shift work. No, I'm not gonna sell. Like I was like, oh, I could go get my nails done. No, because I want to wait until I actually start the job. I'm just, and it's hard because Burke. Yes, I'm gonna wear my wigs. Like they won't. I know they won't care. Have you asked? Like Burke was. Just such a downer. And I know, thank you, Leanne. <laughs> James was like, don't listen to your son. I don't listen to him. That's why I took the job. But yes, Rebecca, see Rebecca, it's Monday through Friday. Um, I don't listen to him. That's why I took the job. But it's like when I was deciding and when I got offered... And I do have the, have the, I did have a few reservations. Like, wow, it's a long day. I know he doesn't understand, right? It's a long day. I have to wear like a uniform, even though it's not wow. like a uniform uniform. He's 19. What is her problem with wearing a uniform? Actually though, but yes, he doesn't know anything. Um... You know, he doesn't, he doesn't even understand, um, 
that I don't even know if I could have paid the rent one more month, you know, if I didn't get something. And uh, frankly, I'm not in a position. Ah, oh, thanks, James. Um, I'm not in a position to say no to a job offer. I'm just not. It's not. It's not a. You you guys know how long I've been looking. If you if I when I go before I'm asleep, anyone else? I need to take a break in a bit. Put the fan on. Wake myself up. Through my sent emails, how many email, how many resumes I have sent out? Um, what an idiot! Like, of course you're gonna get blocked. So I'll still do videos. But I'm also helping people too. You know, these people have been in accidents, um, collisions. It's not a repair shop. It's a collision. Like, mm -hmm. it's not like um, a service. It's a collision. Oh shit! I've said it now. <clears throat> collision places six minute drive from where you doxed yourself. Oh look, is that why she's got the job? What's the manager's name? Is it Dave? Yeah. Can, do they have to wear a uniform? Yeah, just the top half. Mm -hmm. It's not a certain... You wouldn't go there for an oil change. It's not like that. And I know that he's thinking that way. Um, so tell him what it is I'm then. going to enjoy it because I'm going to make it enjoyable. I'm going to make that whole front office mine. I'm going to run that place, which... I'm going to bring in my fluffy pencil case and my dingle dangle things for the top of the pen and all my colourful post-it notes and nice pretty erasers that look like dogs and anything else tap-wise that I can to put all over the desk because it's a fun day out for me. It's not actually a job. I'm only there to make friends. I'm not there to work. As somebody said, and I wish I could remember who it was, you want the job, but you don't want to do the work. Which is what they want. I am going to run that place and be like an integral cog in the system so that, you know, people will know, oh, go see Lori. You know, I went to such and such place to get my car when I got in an accident. Go see Lori. She's amazing. Good opportunity to meet new people. I like working in a mostly male environment. So like a salon or a spa, like there was a spa down the road. Would I be happy being a receptionist full time at a spa? Why not? Stop licking. If it pays. That only women came to. I don't think so. I mean, the hair salon, it's fun as a part time job, like for four hours a night, checking in and out people. but. For full time, that's like, you know, it's, I don't know. So you want somewhere with people that you can flirt with all day long and do as little work as possible. Yes, Crafty Kitty. Um, so... <laughs> that's a good thought, Sherry. Yeah, and, and it would be all women. And then, the, like, if I had gotten the job at the physical therapy office, it's like I'm right out in the open with all with everybody. There's no privacy at all with the physical therapy office. The way that this office is situated, I could... Why do you need privacy? You know, if there was some downtime and I wanted to check my email on my phone. The f yeah. I don't want people watching me when I'm fuck arsing about at work when I should be working, but I'm playing Candy Crush. The fact of the matter is, I'm not used to working hard anymore. You know, hard in that way. Thank you, Miss Caddy. I will, Leanne. Um, I work hard at Sensi. I work hard making my jewelry. It's different, you know. Um, I worked hard when I sold real estate, but this is a different working hard. This is... 
But you didn't sell real estate, did you? Because you didn't have a license. It's been checked. Rebecca, he's in college right now. He's college and he's at his job. He works now one day a week. I'm worried about, you know, how I feel. Um, you know, I have Epstein-Barr and so that's a chronic so I'll throw it's not even the I haven't had knock wood any fibro flares lately, but the Epstein Bar. Hi Leslie. Okay, quiet. You don't even know what a fibro flare is. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not fibro that I've got, is it? What is it? It's a stay in bed illness. Hey, but um, hi, Dab and P E I P I. I mean, anyways, I know you. Didn't I? Did I used to call you poor Deb or something like? <laughs> um, that's really nice. Isn't the it? hard work is going to have to be being on, being up, and working in the morning. Exactly, C J. And then coming home at night. And, you know, come home, do laundry, clean the house, play with the animals. Yeah, right. And, you know, and Burke does, doesn't help with any of that. But, but maybe I could afford to have... But see, that's the thing. If you asked him when he was younger, let's make your job feeding the dogs first thing in the morning. And if you see they're out of food, when you get up, you give them food. If you see they need water, you give them water. If you come home midday and I'm not here, keep an eye on them. See if they need anything. Check in on them. Or maybe, here's a thought, if you'd made his job taking the dogs for a walk. But they were yours. Nobody else could have anything else to do with them. And you didn't want them to be normal dogs, did you? You wanted them to be indoor dogs have somebody come and clean the house every really? other week like really clean it you know now i can afford to have that and because i think oh when would i go for doctor's appointments like well when does anybody you've just got a job and the first thing you're thinking about is when can i go to the doctor's to go for it, even if it was nine to five so what i you know and then if the job and then sorry. i'm like oh my god eight o'clock so early but what do i what am i going to do oh thank you deb you bought one of those snake bracelets what am i going to do before that sleep you know this is good to know kathy i had to quit at some point working because my fibro and my Epstein-Barr was so bad. And that's the thing about Epstein-Barr, it's like, um, it's like having mono. Mm -hmm. Which is a sore throat. I won't send my laundry out. I'll just do it more frequently so that it's not a big load and Burke does do the laundry. I'm just thinking, oh, I, I you know, it's just so different, like I won't be able to say, I don't feel like doing anything today. I feel like going to the mall at one o'clock. But I start um, October 1st, which is so perfect also. Um, and I'll have purpose and I'll be helping people you know, you know what a you know what a nightmare it is if when you get into an accident you have to schedule to have the your car fixed and all that kind of stuff. Um, no, Leslie, I'm not married. Yeah, I, I'm sure they'll let me leave, like, if I had a doctor's appointment or a dentist appointment. Because they all work the same hours, so what, you know, or they work 7 to, seven to 5. And, like, James... Seven to seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kathy. 
And the funny thing is, like, I think, when am I going to do this? This is exactly what I did with my friend Marjorie. She was like, well, I won't be able to do this and that. And you find time. You just find your life is busy. When you have nothing to do, you have no time to do things. Because if every little thing seems overwhelming. Mm -hmm. I already know somebody that could clean my house. If that's what I cho chose to do. Yeah, you prioritize. And what house? You've got a one bedroom apartment. It's hardly a house. And how you can't keep that clean is beyond me. You, and you just get things done. Whereas when you have so much time on your hands, every little thing seems like a big thing when it's not, you know? So it, stop! So instead of going grocery shopping every day, which I do, I'll maybe just do it once a week or I will do it after work. 15 minutes. Ah, that's funny. I was going to say who goes grocery shopping daily, but I had a friend in London, Dell. She used to do that. She was a nanny and she'd get the bus home from her nannying job and it'd drop her off right outside either Safeways or Sainsbury's or Tesco or something. We had them all on the, the high road. But she'd stop, go in there and then in the... What is that? In the um, fridge near the door, they had all the stuff that had to be sold by the pre uh, the following day, and it was all cut down to like a quarter of the price or less. So she'd go in and pick a load of stuff up out of that, and that'd be tea. So she never planned what she was going to eat for the week, and because of that, she got a whole fucking huge dinner for like twenty p or something. It was a really clever idea. I would have done that, but it was like a two and a half mile walk for me, so. You clean. So, that's it. It's not a fortune. I will still do my sensi business. Leslie, you're new and you're asking questions that don't pertain to me. Have you ever thought of getting a hobby? No, I have no hobbies. Thank you, Sandra. <clears throat> she can't cope with people just wandering into her live. She thinks when she clicks live, only the people that know her should turn up. What she doesn't realize is it's bang there on the front page of youtube and someone switches on youtube and they're like oh i'm bored oh she's going live what's she talking about but you're not allowed to do that in lardy land oh she's paused right i'm going to pause it here then because i'm really really warm and tired and i need to wake myself up so i'm going to call this part one and i will be back in a bit if you got this far with me, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.